Asia used to be a continent for many obscure dinosaurs, with most of those paleontological obscurities coming from China. One of them was Guanlong, a dinosaur originally believed to be a raptor, but later found to be one of the first relatives of an even more important dinosaur. This is the story of the Guanlong aka crowned dragon and his and his fellows rise amongst Jurassic giants. As just mentioned, Guanlong is today's main subject. Guanlong Wukai was first described in 2006 by Xu Xing among others, with its full name standing for multicolored crown dragon, with the species epithet Wukai referring to the colors of the rock of the Wukai Wan and the genus name Guanlong, consisting of the two Chinese words standing for crown and dragon, obviously referring to the crest on its head. Guanlong was actually first discovered in a dinosaur death trap, being part of a series of animals that got trapped in what seems to be a mud pit or some other form of natural predator trap. For more about its discovery you can check out the documentary Dino Death Trap, but only after this video since you'll know more about Guanlong, for example the fact that Guanlong is one of the oldest members of a tyrannosauroid group that differs so much from the later tyrannosaurids that most people wouldn't be able to tell that these are tyrannosaurs. That is because Guanlong actually lived 160 million years ago in China, a whopping 94 million years prior to the great T-Rex. Two main reasons Guanlong got classified as a tyrannosaur is because of its D-shaped teeth with serrated edges and a pelvis with a large ridge in the middle of the main hip bone. Guanlong's group, the Prosoratosaurs, were named in 2010, these being some of the oldest tyrannosauroids. Guanlong itself is the oldest Prosoratosaurid, aside from Chilescus and Prosoratosaurus. Tyrannosauroids actually had a time span of exactly 100 million years on Earth, ranging from the Bathonian of the Middle Jurassic, 166 million years ago, to 66 million years ago into the Maastrichtian period of the late Cretaceous, making Guanlong a fairly early member on the timeline of what are for many dinosaur enthusiasts the most iconic group of dinosaurs that ever evolved. Proceratosaurids, also often called the Crested Tyrants, are a group of early tyrannosauroid theropods, a tyrannosauroid being a theropod that is more closely related with Tyrannosaurus than with Allosaurus, Compsognathus, Coelurus, Ornithomimus or Deinonychus. The Proceratosaurids are practically the first subgroup within Tyrannosauroidea. Proceratosaurids' distinguishing features are their crests, fur slash feathers and quite long and nasty arms for tyrannosauroids. They also have weirdly varying sizes, as some of their members such as Duratyran, Sinotyrannus and Eutyrannus reach sizes between 6 meters or 20 feet and 9 meters or 30 feet with weights up to 2 metric tons or more. Guanlong is on that mid to bottom end on the Proceratosaurid size spectrum, with a length of 3.5 meters or 11.5 feet and a weight of 125 kilograms or 276 pounds. But of course Guanlong was way faster than its bigger cousins, but we'll get to that later, so stay tuned. By the way, for many Guanlong is actually a fan favorite when it comes to basal tyrannosauroids, as it is widely known from Pylodox films and TV series including Life on Earth, A New Prehistory, Dino Death Trap, Ice Age 3. Dawn of the Dinosaurs, Dinosaur Revolution, T-Rex, and Evolutionary Journey, etc. Guanlong is also mostly known for its frankly brilliant crest that rose up from the snout between the nostrils and eyes and curved over in an arc above the back of the skull. Studies suggest these crests were really fragile in life, meaning the main purpose would have been visual display in the breeding season. Maybe the crests even increased in color intensity as a male Guanlong reaches breeding condition. Proceratosaurids generally had three-fingered arms capable of even grasping prey. Because of Guanlong being a tyrannosauroid, it did have a better agility than allosauroids in general, which would make sense because back then large allosauroids were still around, with some of the wildest and weirdest in China specifically. Speculative evolution. To hunt down small animals, namely swift ornithischians, mammals, as well as small alvarezsaurs, and to minimize conflicts with bigger theropods and other predators, Guanlong would have been extra fast reaching a whopping 50 km per hour or just over 31 miles per hour or more, a speed that even Albertosaurus would be jealous of. That means Guanlong would have occupied the role of a swift pursuit predator 
while staying out of the range of big game predators, with the potential exception being scavenging on a bigger animal's carcass. As previously mentioned, Guanlong is only 125 kilograms or 276 pounds in weight, meaning at best it is second or third within the predators in its environment. Guanlong is home to the Shishugu Formation located in what is now modern-day China. This geological formation does include vertebrate paleofauna from the middle-slash-late Jurassic, namely a mammalia morph named Euanotherium, the crocodilomorphs Nominosuchus, Sunosuchus and another indeterminate member, as well as some pterosaurs including Cryptodracon, Cerecipterus, and more than a dozen dinosaurs including the Ceratopsian Hualian Ceratops and Yinglong, the Stegosaurid Jungjunosaurus, and an unspecified Ornithischian called Eugongbosaurus, as well as the Sauropod Spelosaurus, Fushanosaurus, Clamelisaurus, Tianchanosaurus, and the massive Mamenchisaurus Sinocanadorum. Theropod dinosaurs include the Alvaresaurus aurun, Shishugunicus and Haplochirus, the Proceratosaurid Guanlong, the potential Coelurosaurian Zuolong, the small Elaphrosaurin Limusaurus, the basal Tetanurian theropod Monolophosaurus and the big Metriacanthosaurid Synraptodongi. Here Guanlong had to look out for specifically Monolophosaurus and Synraptor and maybe even Sunosuchus, as these three are most certainly a lot bigger than Guanlong, specifically the two theropods. Monolophosaurus weighs in at over 400 kilograms or 880 pounds similar to Dilophosaurus, while Synraptor is the apex predator with some weight estimates exceeding one metric ton. Niche partitioning did allow the Guanlong to thrive in hunting smaller dinosaurs and mammals, as the Asian Proceratosaurids should go on to live for another 40 million years. 125 million years ago, Proceratosaurids already had won the evolutionary arms race, as they had gained size advantage over the Metriacanthosaurids, with the last potential Metricanthosaurid Siamotyrannus being outsized by the giant feathered tyrant Eutyrannus. This success ultimately led to a giant Proceratosaur called Sinotyrannus casuoensis and later to the giant Tyrannosaurids Tarbosaurus and others. This is the great legacy that Guan Long and its fellow early Tyrannosauroid colleagues left behind, a time span and history of 100 million years on Earth. All in all, Guanlong is a quite fascinating dinosaur, as its looks are so different from its later descendants. It significantly helped tracing back the origins of tyrannosaurs and shedding some light on their partly weird and wonderfully fascinating evolution. That's it for this video. Smash the thumbs up, the bell and the subscribe, as only legends do that and I know you all are. I am also currently looking for an editor. If you want to join, just send an email to official.megaraptor at gmail.com. For more Megaraptor, there is also the German channel. Also check out Instagram for fitness motivation and inspiration, as I'm on a mission to help more people get fit. Furthermore, you can also check out Twitter to hear my thoughts on all kinds of dinosaur stuff. And with that, I wish you a splendid day or evening. Goodbye.